But what does a haunting actually look like? I can't tell you what it actually looks like because it's different. There's, there's connections of residual energy from spirit, from the living, being felt in a space through four walls or beyond the four walls. And this is where it gets really challenging because we say, well, wait a second, if spirit is multidimensional, is it really beholden to four walls of a room? Well, no, it's not. But can energy be held in a space because an echo of that conscious form felt connected to that physical space? Well, then the answer becomes yes. So this is also why it is so, so tricky because hauntings, which I don't utilize that word, you know, our connection to paranormal activity or to some kind of outside exogenous energy is just what that is. Meaning that this little tree fort that I'm sitting in right now could feel a vibration, a haunting because someone stubbed their toe here or someone had a really bad day while they were sitting up here and I might pick up on that form of that person, what they were going through, what it felt like. And if I am not going in with any kind of academic intelligence, I'm going to say it was haunted. This tree fort is haunted. But again, we must, must interact with energy, with coherence and with education and understanding. And that way we can start to understand, wait a second, but then all connections to energy, whether that's haunting or living, living energy, we can start to create some kind of understanding with that. Is that making me ask more questions? <laughs> it's making you ask more questions. Please ask questions. Ask, ask, ask.